let's go see Phoenix. because we are at the rental car place because taking Ubers everywhere is just like becoming the same exact price as just getting an Uber. I mean, getting an Uber, getting a rental car for the entire weekend for $70. We're at the airport and I got a little annoyed because I wanted to do the rental car outside the airport so we didn't have to like deal with all of this, but finally getting the car now, we have the paper. We're just waiting for the guy, give us the car. I promise guys, today's vlog is gonna get better. I have a headache, I took medicine, we're gonna get coffee and everything's gonna be a-okay. We don't have anything to do today. Like today is just a vlog, fun day, exploring day. So, <gasps> in the middle of the thing, the valet like guy pulled up and he said we could pick any car we want from either section three or four. We were only supposed to get four, but then he gave us three. So Jordan's like literally looking at every single car. He's like, hmm, which ones do I want? Okay, I don't know anything about cars. You're the one driving it, so. This is section three. Section four. Okay. Well, we're not getting a Hyundai because I fucking hate Hyundais. Flashback to our DoorDash videos, guys. Jordan hates Kia's. <laughs> Honda. This guy should have never given me and Jordan the option of picking a car because we just went into the Hyundai Elantra, which my cousin's boyfriend has, and we actually really like this car, even though it's a Hyundai, and I literally just screamed, we're not getting a Hyundai, but like his car's really nice. A Toyota Corolla. And a Kia something. Oh, I know. I hate the I hate the Toyota Corolla windshield. The the back, the rear view is like so tiny you can't even see out of it. No, this is a nice car, and it has the USB plug. Oh wait, hold on. I gotta just take. Wait, hold on. The seat doesn't go back. What do you mean? On the side. No, it's not going back. The it's not going back. Underneath, not back up, in the front. Uh oh. <sighs> I got it, guys. It's like I can't sit like this. Jordan's gonna go and take pictures of the car now, guys. Taller cars, but they don't really have any like crossovers. Honestly, we probably could have taken one from five and no one would have said anything. Because no one walked you to your car. This is so weird. Literally, we rented a car just to go to Dutch Bros. <laughs> My order at Dutch Bros is going to be a Golden Eagle, which is vanilla and caramel. 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 What do I say? Ice caramel. Caramel. Brevet with caramel drizzle. This is what I got in Vegas the first time. But I got it blended. I don't know if I just wanted ice. It's not that hot here. I didn't pack for this weather. But it's really nice out. It's like fall weather. It's like actually like my favorite weather ever. Watch your red car. Oh my god, guys, we were all here before you. Fuck off. So we got our Dutch Bros. And the girl at the counter told us we should go to Old Town, Scottsdale, which is like five minutes away. And it's like really cute and like people have like bachelorette parties there and it's like artsy and things to do and restaurants and coffee. But the same lot as Dutch Bros, there's actually an antique place right here so we're gonna go in we were gonna go to the botanical gardens and we'll still probably go obviously but maybe we'll do all this kind of stuff first and then we go to botanical you guys know I always bring a change of clothes whenever we go places which is why we need like a rent a car situation not just for that reason but Jordan is such like I want to be in control and I want to like do what I want to do on my own time and I'm a very like I hate waiting for people I just want to like do my own fun. thing. I think the Ubers are a little, exp they're, they're literally equaling out to the same price as renting this Uber, this car. So
We're from California now, baby. I'm fighting the urge to touch the cacti really hard, but I won't. I'm fighting the urge to sit on the cacti. <laughs> Guys, it was kind of expensive to get in here, but it's very, it's very big and it's relaxing and it's cool. <laughs> I thought we were going to go somewhere no, magical. <laughs> no. Let's give you an outfit tour. My bucket right. hat that a girl complimented and I said it's from Cotton On for $2 and she said, what's Cotton On? And I was like, maybe that's not a nationwide mall chain. I got this in Florida. You guys saw my vlog that I got it in. My Yale hoodie. My sister gave me these jeans. And your... And my Primark shoes. A total of free $6 from Ross, $5 from Cotton On. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. My outfit is a total of $20 and my coffee was $4.50. How much was my outfit? These boots we got from Target for like $10. Jordan really wants to show you his outfit. Yes. Go tell us. We got my Arizona style boots, which makes me feel like I belong here. We have these jeans, which I bought from Cotton On. It's actually a Cotton On inspired outfit. Um, jeans from Cotton On, which I got on sale at the outlet for like $15. <coughs> I got this nice, <coughs> soft... Cotton Wrap it up. On. I'm wearing Cotton On. <laughs> He's gonna be here all day. <laughs> Our canvas tote. Do not, literally, don't touch it. Like, this is so, like, annoying. I know, I really want to touch it too. It's walked like a longy kind of trail. It was kind of long and dusty. And we're not used to, like, the desert dust. <clears throat> so, me and Jordan are like, <clears throat> like doing that now we're just sitting on a bench because we were both like having like asthma attacks So we're back from our little desert botanical garden adventure. I was getting tired. Jordan was not like tired tired, but we were like in that mood where we were like, damn, we ate breakfast at 9 a.m. It's three. We should probably eat something. This is why we're a bit laggy. Still have the food from last night from the venue. Well, I do. I have my full burger. I never ate it last night. Um, it's a vegan burger. I'm really excited to eat it. It looks so good. And then we went to Raising Cane so Jordan could get chicken fingers. He really wanted to try them. I hope to God this is vegan because it's so fucking good. And this is Jordan's Raising Cane's. This is chicken. This is real chicken. I already know today's vlog is gonna be long because I'm gonna be doing a review of everything. Here's me trying raisin cane sauce. That's a punch in the face. And now we're ready to get back out there and see the rest of Tempe. And actually I think we're going to Scottsdale because apparently like the downtown old town part of Scottsdale is really cute and like fun there's like a lot of bars and things so here's my new outfit I just put my hair in like little bunnies um because my hair is really dirty and like I need to wash it when we come back later apparently they call these slut strands <laughs> this dress you guys saw this in my cotton on haul converse because I really don't feel like wearing like I brought these booties Yeah, it was. <gasps> we're oh, in, this is a big like, jewelry type thing. We're yeah. in historic Old Town, which is in Scottsdale, and everything's so fucking cute.
going to like an indoor outdoor mall because there's a bunch of those here but we're actually just like in a mall but it's a really nice mall it's quite big what well, from the outside it did not look this big and the parking lot that we parked in was small oh there's the escalator oh my god we've been walking like a mile to try to get down like has fancy stuff like dior's right here bottega veneta coach which isn't like fancy but louis vuitton like everything like that our next activity of the day is to eat dinner somewhere to a juice place and I'm really happy that we came here because everyone's so nice and so friendly. Everyone in Arizona is so nice. I was very thirsty. There's like no water here. We keep talking about how like, <laughs> like it's a desert obviously, but like everywhere we go, like usually, you know, there'd be like stands and things to buy water and stuff. And like, there's none, like there's no deli. Obviously there's no deli, but like we would think they'd have something else beside a deli, like a market or like something. We literally went, we went to a supermarket to buy water. And we bought Essentia water because we don't recognize the other waters and all of them taste so bad. I found a pho place that looks good. They closed at nine. There's, I mean, we could go still. We take it out. Hmm. We could take it out and eat it at a hotel or something. We could or, do that too. Or find someone in the city maybe. Yeah. Like we're in Phoenix now. We drove to Phoenix from Scottsdale, which is like 10 minutes. I just keep looking up places like there's restaurants and they're packed they look busy and they look good but we're not even hungry enough to spend like the money on a restaurant like there's like when you're just not hungry it's like you're just eating to eat we're outside of a venue called the Van Buren. There was a festival here in Phoenix this weekend that we didn't know about. 1823 Fest, which is what the main runs because they're from here. That's why they always wear the cowboy hats on stage, I'm assuming. We're a little early, we didn't realize. We just decided to drive around and find out what's happening. And we're trying to see if there's like a line outside or if there's anything and it's like completely dead. There's absolutely nobody, not a soul here. I guess we could wait 15 minutes and see if like, people start showing up. We decided to just like go a few blocks behind where that venue was and we're in the city. And what is it, who plays here? The Phoenix Suns, what, the what kind of Cardinals. sport is that? Basketball? The Arizona Cardinals, that might be their stadium right behind them. Okay, so the they know, played here cute. and everyone's letting out because there was actually a game uh, here. So, so there's like a lot of traffic and people working, walking everywhere. Phoenix Suns right here, Chase Field's right there and that's the Arizona Diamondbacks. Okay. So you wouldn't believe what just happened. It was too caught up in the moment to vlog it. But what happened was Jordan and I circled back to go to the venue to like stalk to see like what was happening at this emo night where like the main was supposed to perform and like, well again, because they had a festival today. The festival was called 8123. We go there and we're like, oh, okay, it looks like there's more girls coming because we saw the venue was attached to a, like a pizzeria, like arcade thing. And Jordan and I, as told in that section of the vlog, were sitting by the venue side, but everyone was actually on the pizzeria side. So we were like, oh, let's go in. Like, we'll go hang out. So we're driving around to try to find another parking spot that's like a little closer to that side. Cause it was like a big, a big whatever. So we drove around the building like four times and we just kept getting like fucked up. And we were just like, not getting angry, but we were like, this is so stupid. Like we're just driving in circles. Like, what do we do now? Should we go home? Like back to the hotel? And we're like, no, like I still feel like we want to see shit. Like we want to be involved. So we're like, let's go to like the college bars. I was like, let's get out of Phoenix. Like fuck Phoenix. Like it's a little trafficy. Like the Suns game just got out. We'll go somewhere else. So then we start driving to try to come wherever. And then we start seeing light up cowboy hats. If you know, you know, light up cowboy hats mean that the main is not too far because the main part of their merch is cowboy hats. Like that's their thing because they're from here. 
and everyone had a light up cowboy hat. We just kept seeing them and seeing them. We're like, oh my God, we're not even by the venue anymore. I guess all these girls are walking there. Where are they coming from? And then it just clicked on us that the festival wasn't over yet. And I start massively looking up the lineup and where the festival is. We didn't even know where the festival was. The festival was only like a couple of blocks like north where me and Jordan just kept missing when we were driving and we didn't even know. So then I'm like, oh my God, go here. And we just start following all these cowboy hats. Ooh, yum, this smells so good. And we're just following these cowboy hats until we literally turn a corner and we see a big, big like gate fence park thing and I see a giant stage. And I'm like, oh my God, we found the festival. And we actually, if we knew, we're silly because if we just like looked up the festival, we would have like realized that if we stood outside of the gate, we would have been able to hear and see the music still because it was very close. It was like in a park inside of the city. Isn't that crazy? So then we were sitting there pondering like how silly we are for thinking that the event was at this one venue when the event that wasn't even over yet it was still at the festival we were under the impression the festival like ended hours ago so we weren't even thinking about it as soon as we drove up to like where the stage was and we were looking we were like wow they're cleaning up like they're taking down merch they're breaking down old stages and stuff it starts pouring we could have seen the main for free just like there we didn't have to go to the freaking venue that everyone's putting horrible reviews on google about that's just what i do i love reading reviews i really hope that you guys enjoyed this very long vlog and tomorrow is a new day in arizona if you want to check it out so subscribe and i'll see you in my next video bye